for graph 2, you're making a line graph of Olympic times. Make sure you go to www.olympic.org and then choose a winter event underneath sports. Realizing that these um, are ones you're probably going to have to look through to get some good data on. I looked through a couple and especially if you're choosing the women's sports, um, it might not be something that goes back very far because women weren't always allowed to com compete in Olympics. And so for this particular one, it does go all the way back to uh, 1976, actually 1968. That might be a good one to use. Uh, you're documenting the winner of the gold medal and the time. And you're writing that down on your sheet of paper, and then you're going to graph it. But if you happen to come across a sport in the winter sports that only gives you maybe a couple of data points because it hasn't been around or women haven't competed in it, then just make sure to find one with a lot of data because then you'll be able to see the trend on the line graph. So I chose the two-man bobsleigh, and I came down here and chose that and recorded all this data right here. So going from Sochi in 2014 all the way back to 1948 in St. Moritz. On your sheet, you're recording the country that won and the time for the gold medal, and then, of course, the year in which it took place. So then you go to the Create a Graph website and select a line graph, and I've already typed my data in here from 1936 all the way to 1992. Notice that I did not put a colon there. It won't recognize a colon for your time, so just put a period, and then make sure you have a title and that your axes are labeled and that you have your source. Uh, make sure to go all the way to the current year if um, possible, and you just change that number of data points right up here at the top. Once you're done, you can check the Labels tab to make any formatting changes here. And then finally on your preview, and then print and save, you can download it by selecting JPEG. And on your iPad, when you download that, it will bring it up on a screen that you can save to your camera roll, and then you can insert that into your Keynote.